what the haters talking about. What's up, family? This week, Oprah's friend, her sidekick, Gail King, became a bullseye target after a clip of her interview with WNBA legend Lisa Leslie went viral. In the video, Gail presses Lisa about the late Kobe Bryant and the 2003 allegations of rape made against him. After the clip circulated, many celebrities came forward to condemn Gail, including Snoop Dogg, who called the news reporter a funky dog face B. Snoop also called for friend Bill Cosby, and Bill Cosby later took to Instagram to thank him for his support. Subsequently, Snoop too would find himself on the receiving end of backlash on Friday. But Camille Cosby had something to say. Bill Cosby's wife of 56 years shared a message on her husband's Instagram account that called out people who she correctly claims are trying to take down black men. She also correctly stated, the media is aiming to overshadow Kobe's celebrated history with parasitic and cruel attempts to bring up his past. Her message read, history repeats itself again, again, and multiple more agains. The relentless stereotypical portrayals of people of color and I will specify African-American men for the purpose of this statement, and the ever-present, unproven accusations of black men as sexually deviant, brutal black bucks are repetitive obsessions in most general media. Their messengers are all too enthusiastically ready to disseminate the particular horrific racist imageries that are forever the demonizations of black men. The media's current attempts to supersede Mr. Kobe Bryant's celebrated history with an old case that was unproven and dismissed is downright parasitic and cruel. The media's numerous messengers are participants in the deplorable behavior and disrespect for Mr. Bryant's wife, children, and family. Anyone who has suddenly lost a spouse, child, or a loved one intensely knows the emotional penetrating traumas of that kind of shock. I certainly do. Excellent, beautiful, and honest. Camille Cosby has always been very classy, respectful, and regal, in my opinion. Stand by your man. That's right. Stand by your man. See, some people don't understand that. See, they'll be like, you know, to do his part. They say all that stuff. The minute, the first sign of a little trouble, they, they gone. Stand by your man. That's right. She didn't say anything wrong. The media has always tried to portray the black man as some type of sexual deviant, some type of oversex maniac. They've always done that. And to have black women to try to help them do it, and not just any type of black women, I'm talking about the ones who have been able to wiggle into black society and come off as a champion for black people. I'm not concerned about the work they've done. So what? Look at the damaging work they're doing now. I'm not with it. I'm with Camille Cosby and every other black woman out there who rides for us. Who ain't falling for the banana and the tailpipe. It ain't nothing to put somebody on a big old platform and dress them up in a nice dress or suit and put the lights on with the makeup and the, the hair and showing how successful they are and then have them, okay, now talk. And then people start believing them just because they have a platform. Now, it's a different day. Got a new sheriff in town. In fact, you got millions of new sheriffs in town. And we got a platform too. 
We're part of the media too now. They don't call it social media for nothing. And so you ain't going to be able to just spin the narrative any kind of way you want to and get away with it anymore. Those days are over. Y'all are going to get checked every single time you get out of pocket. It's time for the decent people to fight back and regain our legacy. Free Bill Cosby. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go in this kitchen and grab my dinner, have a seat, turn the television on, and binge watch The Cosby Show. Might even check out a little fat app on the big screen. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.